Hi, I'm Jason Charbonneau, creator of UFO Case Review. UFO Case Review is back, but I won't be uploading to this channel anymore. All future videos will be uploaded to my new channel, Think Anomalous. If you want to continue following my work, click the link below and subscribe. The next two minutes are a sneak peek at a revamped version of my original Kenneth Arnold video. The full video is available only on Think Anomalous. If you like what I'm doing, please consider supporting me on Patreon. New videos every month. Thank you and enjoy. On June 24, 1947, a private pilot named Kenneth Arnold spotted a group of lustrous delta-shaped objects flying around the Cascade Mountains in Washington state. Arnold's story made headlines across the country, inspiring a worldwide fascination with flying saucers and over 20 years of U.S. government research. Arnold's wasn't the first anomalous aerial sighting in human history, or even the first in 1947, but it captured the public imagination like few sightings before, and it birthed a new mythology of extraterrestrial visitation. Around 2.15 p.m. on June 24, 1947, businessman and private pilot Kenneth Arnold left Chehalis, Washington in his Call Air Model A plane on a business flight to Yakima. Just before 3 p.m., Arnold spotted what looked like a chain or a Chinese kite weaving across the face of Mount Rainier. As it got closer, he could distinguish nine separate objects in reverse echelon formation, around 2,900 meters altitude. The objects were rounded and delta-shaped, with concave triangular protrusions on their rears. They appeared to repeatedly dip in the sky and tilt their wings in Arnold's direction, reflecting intensely bright flashes of light through his windshield. The objects were moving so fast that Arnold decided they must have been fighter jets flying in formation. However, they flew with the leading craft at the highest altitude, not the lowest, and Arnold could not see any tails. He clocked the time it took the formation to travel between the peaks of Mount Rainier and Mount Adams, which he knew to be 30 to 40 kilometers away. Immediately after landing in Yakima, Arnold told a number of friends and fellow pilots about his sighting. He also used his measurements to calculate that the objects were between 13 to 15 meters long, and that they were traveling nearly... Two